Today is Saturday, August 7th, 2021, and I'm going to keep talking about end times and biblical cosmology. These are just things that interest me, and it's one of those things that, uh, I don't know, I guess, in my opinion, it's really obvious that all of the descriptions of end times make it very clear that the earth is flat and unmoving and biblical cosmology is true. And it also makes it clear how they, the the great deception, the people in control, they're clearly going to spin the story into a NASA outer space land. They've painted themselves into a corner. And it's just really obvious when you wake up to all the programming, how much effort goes into the alien, the ball of earth stuff. It's it's just really clear to me that that's where they're headed with, headed with this. They're going to take what the Bible says is going to happen, because we all know that it's true and it's going to happen. So they know it's going to happen. So all that they can do is come up with a way to explain it in a way where people will doubt that the biblical truths are happening. And the way that they plan on doing that is with their whole outer space story. So let's get into it. I'm just going to read these verses. It's from Revelation chapter 6. There's some really interesting numbers here. And numbers are just something I pay attention to, and it is what it is. So here, here are just some interesting numbers. Chapter 6 of Revelation talks about the opening of six seals. So that's one interesting number connection. And I'm going to read about the fifth seal. And, uh, or wait, no, the sixth seal. I'm going to read about the sixth seal. So here we go, starting at, at verse 12. So that's actually another interesting thing. Verse 12, 12 is, of course, two sixes. So verse 12 of chapter 6, it's almost like three sixes. And the sixth seal happens on this verse. And this is a big one. The sixth seal is a really big one. And I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs, when she is shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together, and every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And so this is what they're going to they're gonna play it off as meteor apocalypse. I think that they, they'll, of course, bring aliens into it. And you can start talking about all the different aspects of it. Like it, it's the Bible makes it seem like people are going to be brought up into the clouds with Jesus. And in my opinion, what there's all this programming for people getting sucked up into spaceships, and there's all all the Blue Beam stuff, Project Blue Beam. I think they're going to clearly be using Project Blue Beam to project UFOs and stuff into the sky. And I think that it's going to be one big live action movie for these people. And they're going to try to get people to believe that, yeah, alien invasion, meteor apocalypse, all of these things. Because they know the Bible's true, so they know what's going to happen. All that they can do is try to put a spin on it and try to get people to believe a lie. And so let's just go through these, these verses really quick. We'll go back to this picture. Uh, so the great earthquake, the, the entire time that we've been alive, people have been talking about the big one. I live on the West coast of the United States. So I've always lived with people talking about the big one. There's going to be a big one and that's it. And so there's other, I guess it's worth pointing out here that book of revelation has a lot of visions that are clearly symbolic, but it's like this vision and even even here in the opening of the seals, there's a lot of opening of the seals where they're talking about measuring penny for and we things that are very symbolic. But then this seal, in my opinion, I mean, they're just it's telling you how it's going to be in end times. So that's a little interesting, but it it matches other parts of the Bible that say the same things that the sun is going to go dark, that the moon is going to be turned to blood. This isn't the only place in the Bible that says that, so this just corroborates those things. 
And so here, and the stars of heaven fell unto the earth. This, somebody left a comment on my other video, how does a light fall down? Well, I mean, the lights that we see, it's still an actual object out there. It's something. I have no idea. In my opinion, maybe it's, they're like giant crystals. I, my personal belief is that the, the star that they call Betelgeuse, in my opinion, that's wormwood. And it's probably made of some crazy mineral. And the Bible says that when wormwood falls, it poisons the waters. So I think that there's, there's objects up in the heaven and they're made of different stuff. And whatever, whatever wormwood is made out of is going to poison a lot of people. And they're going to die that way. Um, yeah, I don't know. Just a fun, I, I don't really have much planned besides this for today. If you read stuff in the Bible about end times, it doesn't match NASA outer space fantasy. How does the heaven depart like a scroll in NASA outer space land? I think that's just the whole idea behind the... They come up with the, the ozone layer because they want to create this idea of there being, like, layers or what they would have as shells. But really what it is is we just have a, a firmament above us. There's this part of the Truman Show where the Sirius, uh, one of the stars fall. You know, the spotlight that was a star for Truman fell. I often think of this verse, and it's something that I don't hear people talk about much, and it completely goes against any NASA stuff. Matthew chapter 24, verse 30, And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. I think here the key is the clouds of heaven. So I'll just describe what I personally think is going to happen on the last day, the big day. Huge earthquake. The sky is going to open up like a scroll. I think that the, the, the firmament has been coming down. And part of why the sky looks so whitewashed, I think that there's less water above us now. And think of when, when a woman gives birth, there's the whole releasing of the waters thing. Uh, I think that when the sky opens up like a scroll, the, there's going to be a layer of water that falls down. Uh, I don't know how they're going to spin that one. And I don't, I don't know. This is just a guess. I haven't seen a part of the Bible that says that. It just makes sense to me. There's waters above. And maybe they'll say a comet or something. The aliens are shooting a comet at us. I have no idea. But um, yeah, the waters will fall. Objects are going to be falling from the sky. But also here it says that they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven. So the clouds are from heaven. That's just the one important, very, I think it'd be easy to miss that detail. They're clouds of heaven. There's clouds up there because, well, there's water up there. And Jesus is going to be coming in from clouds way up, way up high. And that's how everybody's going to see him because he's going to be coming in from the clouds of heaven from way up high. And coming down and, and everybody will see him that way and of course that doesn't work on a ball earth and i mean just getting into the, the sky can't open up like a scroll on ball earth i'll just end with this because i have before i even was was christian before i woke up i i've had a just a weird feeling before i was just driving on driving up on i-5 in California, and it's just like you're just driving straight for hundreds and hundreds of miles, I just had this really weird feeling that the sky could just come down and reveal something else behind it. And I just find that really odd that I had that feeling before I knew anything about any of this end time stuff. And just now I know, oh, that was, I was getting a weird premonition about end times and how it's going to be. The sky literally will just go down and reveal something behind it, the heavens. All right, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. God bless everyone.